Hi, welcome to Studio X, and today we will be learning how to make a stylish and elegant After Effects intro. So here is an example of what we will be making. As you can see, this is a pretty simple yet dynamic intro, and uh, so let's get right into it. So let's make a new composition. Let's make it 1080 by 1920. And we are going to make a new layer, a new solid. Make that black. And we are going to place an effect, which is going to be a simulation. of particle world we're gonna fast forward and extend the layer for physics we are gonna set the gravity to zero particle to tripolygon we're gonna pick a nice blue color a nice bright blue color as a birth color and uh, a little bit darker color darker blue color for the death color we're going to change the scale to 0.1 and 0.1 the size I mean let's see we're going to change the longevity so they last for a lot longer and instead of explosive we're going to go with direction axis and we are going to extend the Y producer radius a little bit on the X producer radius. We're going to move it over all the way to the left. And we're going to expand it in the Z so we get a lot of depth. there we go okay so now that we have um, the basic idea done let's just uh, move it over just a little bit just up. there we go give it a little more in the in the y-axis okay perfect so let's hide that for now and make a new text so I'm gonna write X for my for the X studio and I'm gonna give it a white outline I'm going to go to view or window, align, and align it dead in the center. It's too big, so I'm going to make it smaller, maybe 600. And again, you can align it in the center. Perfect. Great. So now actually we're going to turn this on, duplicate the layer, hide the top layer, and for the main layer, we are going to get rid of the outline and keep the front white. So now that we have that, we're going to use that as a track map. So switch the mode and for track map, select alpha map. And there we go. So now you see just on the inside of the X. So now you can enable the top X layer and now you have an outline with the elements in the back. So we can hide the this uh, black solid for now and let's add the other text. So let's write STU for studio. Gonna change the font to something else. And there we go. Let's make the size smaller, maybe like 180. Perfect. So I'm actually going to write out studio entirely, studio, align it where I'd want the STU to be, duplicate it, and in the first one I'm going to delete that, and then in the second one I'm going to delete the first part. That way they're separated, they're in the same plane, it's just easy to control. Boom, there we go. Looks great. 
The only thing I don't like is the kerning on, on these. So by holding um, Option and pressing the right and left arrow keys, you can move individual letters closer together. And maybe I'll do the same on this as well. There we go. I like it tightly packed. There we go, looks good. Looks perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to make all of these, all the text layers, 3D. It's over here, this little cube. So now that we've done that, you're going to make a new camera. Layer, new, camera. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to animate the camera. So let's go to position. Hit the keyframe on that. Let's go on rotation. On Z rotation, because that's the one where it rotates like this. You're going to keyframe that. Now hit U on your keyboard. Take these and move them to the back. So maybe around 8 seconds. Let's keep it around there. And let's go to second number 3. And let's rotate negative 90 degrees. Or actually just 90 degrees. There we go. And we are also just going to go in the Z dimension until we are fully inside of... There we go. So a quick playthrough and you see it comes in. Nice. Looking good so far. So now we are going to need to make these keyframes much softer. So easy ease. And now they're going to land a lot nicer. Now in order for the text to animate in, we're going to go to Effects, Animation Presets, Text, 3D Text, and we're going to do uh, 3D Basic posi Position Z Cascade. So let's throw that onto the STU, and let's throw that on top of the uh, DIO, and hit U. U reveals um, which keyframes show up on, on that layer. So when it's coming in like this, I'm just going to move the keyframes so they start falling down. Oh, that's actually for the STU. So let's change these around. And I'm going to move these over here just so it feels nice. A little earlier actually and we should be set. So let's take this black layer, go to layer, pre-compose, select move all attributes to new composition, hit OK. Double click on it. And we're going to start playing with the motion. So let's go back here and copy the camera that we made. Paste it in here. That way you get the motion in here as well. There we go. So next thing we're going to add is we're going to go to the solid. And we're going to look up echo. Drop that in. Give it maybe 16 iterations, but make it a lot, um, a lot shorter time. It's looking better. That's looking even better. And then change echo operator to screen and decay it down as well. There we go. Maybe even give it a little less. There we go. That looks perfect. So, next thing that we need is some nice flares that are going to bring out the colors in the X. So, for that, we're going to go make a new solid. 
make it comp size, and go to Effect, Video Copilot, like I did originally, boom, there we go, and turn that off for now, and make two new lights. So, light, there we go, move it somewhere in this corner, and then duplicate it, and move it in into the other corner. The reason for that is you don't need to animate any lens flares. They'll move with the camera, as you can see right here. And now all you need to do is turn on your uh, optical flares there. And in source, go to track lights. And there you go. You've got some nice lights. Now when you go to the comp, it should load up. Yep, there you go. You've got some nice colors. Now we're just going to check if it happens throughout the entire time. Basically, almost. So now we just need to continue the camera animation. Or actually, this is, this is good the way it is here. Perfect. So now the only thing we need is the finishing touch, which is the line that goes under. So in order to do that, we're just going to take a pen tool, make sure no layer is selected, and press where the S letter is. Hold shift and press at the end. Make sure you have a stroke. Three looks like a pretty good size, so let's just keep it there. Now hit... Um, I was going to say P, but that opens up position. We are just going to go to the path and keyframe that. Move that to closer to the end. And then select the back one. And while holding shift, bring it all the way to the front so they match up. Then hold option and hit the front bracket or just move this thing just so if it's like one pixel long you just still don't see it so now you have the motion of the line sliding out which is perfect what we needed now we just need the keyframe to be a lot more smoother there we go perfect so this is it for this tutorial as you can see this is, um, he basically reached the result that I was showing before in the beginning. Here it is. So thank you for watching. Make sure to uh, give it a like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions. I will be making a lot more visual effect tutorials coming up soon so be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified anytime I make a new video thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one